as a mobile phone technician you need to understand this complete block diagram here to be able to do advanced troubleshooting when it comes to dead mobile phones if you take a look this circuit is that of the trigger active no power which is the only circuit that you should focus on when you are having a trigger active no power i know that if you are watching this and you haven't gone through my book or my professional level course you won't understand anything here but that's why i want to explain everything to you so that you will know how you can troubleshoot the reason why i troubleshoot the mobile phone the way that i do so a lot of people have been asking me how is it that when i connect my phone to my dc power supply i go ahead to the circuit to troubleshoot just by seeing the reading from my dc power supply that's because i know the current consumption of each circuit here i know the function of each circuit in which we are going to go through so first i call this we have this as the battery connector on every mobile pcb every android mobile pcb even iphones we have similar circuit we have the vbad line which is the primary we have the vph which is the secondary so between the v the, the vbad and the vph here we have the charging ic which converts the VBAT voltage to the VPH through the MOS tube, which is a circuit integrated inside a big charging IC. Keep that in mind, a big charging IC. So when it converts that VBAT voltage, we get the VPH, in which we have solved uncountable fault from the VPH line. So that's not the, 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 the circuit in which we have to, you have to suspect when you are getting a trigger active, no power. Trigger active means the, v the charging IC is taken in the VBAT, converting it to the VPH. The power IC is giving out the power switch voltage. So this basically means that if you are getting trigger active, it means that this circuit, circuit here, which is the power circuit and the signal switching circuit, these two circuits are okay. And what is bad is this right here. So if you see here, you will see that I said this circuit is good, this one is good. I do not say the complete power manager IC is okay. If you take, take a look at the diagram right here, you will see that I cut the, the diagram. In between the power IC, I do not cover up the power IC to say it's okay. Why? Because even though you are getting the input, you are getting the power switch, which is the trigger, right? Once you trigger the phone, the phone needs to give out 3 volt to the EMMC and also 1.8 volt. You need to have a V out and an LDO voltage and V bulk voltage. So all these voltages, you will see that they are power supplies of the CPU, the RAM and the hard disk. Most RAMs will be integrated with the CPU, but as you have seen from my videos, there are some videos, there are some phones where the, the RAM is an independent component that is mounted on top of the CPU. So when you press the power key, when troubleshooting a dead mobile phone, you have to take a look at the reading of your DC power supply. Taking a look means that you already know that the CPU needs to consume this amount of voltage, the hard disk needs to consume this amount of voltage, and the RAM needs to consume this amount of voltage. And you can learn that from my professional level course or from my book. I'm just giving this lesson so that you will know the reason why I troubleshoot the way that I do and the reason why you might have not been succeeding in solving a lot of Android phone faults. The trigger is not the only thing that you are looking for. Taking a look at your, your DC power supply, giving a reading is not the most important part. You look at the reading. If it's above 100 milliamp, you know where to suspect if it's stuck at a certain milliamp 150 300 you know exactly where to check and that's how we make troubleshooting easy and this doesn't mean that okay once you know all this you'll be able to solve every type of fault there are faults that i'm not able to solve but i'm still a lot more better than a lot of people out there and a lot of people are looking up to me so i teach them what i know and while they learn from my videos, learn from my courses and books, they also learn things that they can teach me after. That's the, 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 the thing about knowledge. So if you love this and you want to get a full course, a professional level course, you can send me a message on WhatsApp using the number. Or if you want to get my book, you can do the same or check the link in the pinned comment.
or whatever your description.